Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Got another Earnshaw watch for you guys today. And this, is again, is by the company Thomas Earnshaw. Uh, they were nice enough again to send me one of their, one of my favorites. Uh, this is the Martineau. Uh, it's M-A-R-T-I-N-E-A-U if you are searching for this, but no need to search. Just click the link in the description. It'll take you right to their website where you can pick this up. Right now, the price on this is incredible. 209. I'm, I'm getting right to the point. 209 for this watch is an exceptional value. And one thing I've said many times about Darth Mouth brands is that some of their pricing is kind of all over the place sometimes. But when they have sales like this, you can really pick up uh, these watches for an exceptional value. So uh, let me show you the watch. I'm actually currently wearing it. Check this out. So you folks know I'm a huge fan of anything with uh, gemstones or crystals, rhinestones, glass, whatever the case may be. I like the bling. Um, this is a stunning looking watch. Let me take it off and give you guys a couple close-ups here. And during the video, I'll throw some uh, close-up shots so you guys can kind of see what it looks like up really up close. Sometimes my camera doesn't always pick this up. Uh, you know, 100% perfectly, but check out the shine on this. So this is their Emerald Edition. Uh, the actual name on this is called Lime Crystal. I'm not sure why they didn't just call it Emerald, uh, because, uh, you know, when we look at green stones, our mind automatically goes towards... Uh, towards emeralds, but uh, of course they're not real emeralds. They're probably some kind of uh, maybe tinted glass or some kind of, they could possibly be a gemstone, but I, I highly doubt it for this price. 209 is incredible. I mean, anytime you're getting an automatic watch with this kind of build quality for under three, you're getting a pretty fair deal. Uh, this this is amazing. You, you really, uh, I, you're gonna be hard pressed to find nice quality watches at this level of quality, right? And what are the check boxes I always talk about? 316 stainless steel, nice fit and finish, right? Of course the fit is subjective, right? Uh, what kind of clasp do you have? Do you have a movement? Is it automatic? Is it quartz? You know, what kind of bezel do you have? How's that bezel action? This one checks all the boxes for me, uh, like most of the Dartmouth brands. You know, uh, one of the other brands under Dartmouth is Duxo. Uh, they have several um, kind of Rolex Submariner Homage gemstone editions. Again, I I've been looking for years for nice quality gemstone slash crystal watches. They're hard to find. You, without, you can get like brands like Hello Ice, which is cool too, don't get me wrong. You can get brands like like um, like Freeze Diamond watches. There's, there's players out there, but I just find like the quality that you get with those watches, you it, it's just, there's a sacrifice there. I'm not saying they don't have they don't make certain models. They're on par with this, but the quality of the Earnshaw brand of the Darmouth brands is just up there with your Pro Divers, your Bulvas, your Aragons. They just make a great product, and this is no exception. Um, so they make five different color variations. I've already reviewed the Scarlet Red with the red stones. Um, I'm a huge fan of, I guess, any stones really, right? Um, they don't make a black edition, which is really surprising. They need to. They have a beautiful glacier blue, which I would call the sapphire. They have the lavender. I also have that one. Uh, that's kind of like a pink stone. It's very cool. Uh, Killeen, either way, unisex. Either of these Any of these watches can really go either way. Uh, but you get those pink stones. Again, the lime crystal uh, with the green. Absolutely stunning. Then they have a two-tone rose and violet. Uh, and of course, the red. So uh, this one is really cool. Now you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, I'm not really a fan of green. But when it comes to green stones, I can make the exception for this. I love the two-tone, uh, the the uh, the yellow gold and silver, absolutely stunning. So let's talk about the um, the specifications on this. Then I'll show you what it looks like on the wrist. So again, this this particular one is two nineteen. Some of the other ones are two nine. I mean, I, I just it, it just always I'm always amazed. Sometimes you'll find a lot of Dartmouth brands, you know, really really great deals on um, on um, Ashford. And sometimes again, when it's like when they it's, I wish, I hope that at one point they iron out the pricing structure where they're just always fair, right? And, and you know, it's okay to have sales and to kind of, you know, have a good fair price, have a little bit of sales. Like, I would keep this watch for $299 all day long, right? That should be the price, not $550. All day long, $299. And then when you put a sale like this on, $209, $219, that's perfect. People feel like, all right, if they didn't get it on sale, they didn't get totally burned. Um, you know, it's just, it's, I think it's just, it's going to it's gonna help them sell more watches because they make a great product. It's just the pricing is all over the place right now. So, uh, again, pick this up while you can. Uh, if you've trusted me on the Invicta Pro Divers, I personally think that the quality of this is a little bit nicer than your Pro Divers. Uh, again, there are Pro Divers that are 
I would say more entry level, and then you have the pro divers that are uh, a little nicer. I, I've said before many times, I love Invicta, don't get me wrong, but when it comes to the pro diver, I think I'd, I'd lean more towards other brands if you want that particular style. Again, sometimes you just can't beat the price. It's still a great watch, but uh, if you haven't checked out my newest review on the Ruby Red version, beautiful watch, but there's a little bit of a difference between that watch and this watch. It might just be, again, the automatic movement adds some weight. Um, you know, I, I'm just not really, I can't really put my finger 100% on it, but this just feels a little more solid, right? Um, all the links are solid on these. You have a beautiful uh, dual push button deployment butterfly clasp. This is a uh Kind of gives you a really nice look. You have a nice fluid bracelet right around your wrist. Um, I like either one. If you have, the cl have a, a normal clasp, that's fine. If they have a Submariner style clasp, that's great. Uh, but these ones do the butterfly. So I like the fact that they, they kind of did their own thing on this. Uh, the bezel is a unidirectional. Uh, um, you can rotate it. Unidirectional rotating bezel. Um, which is really, there's no point in that because there's no markers on there. But they probably just... Uh, this watch is probably made under a different name, uh, probably another Earnshaw that doesn't have the bezel. Maybe the Martin might be similar. Uh, so they, they added a you know unidirectional rotating bezel. You're not really gonna turn that much other than to just maybe line up uh, where you want you know those crystals. Uh, they could have just made it non-rotating, but again, like I said, they probably uh, have repurposed some of these existing cases from non-iced out models. You have a beautiful green inside right like kind of green bezel insert not really bezel insert i'm saying that wrong kind of a green inner rotating i don't know what you'd call that indice platform i'm just not really sure the proper name for that but where the indices are are uh, attached you have a skeletonized face and then you kind of have a ledge there so you got the green um the other models have different colors of course he has a little more color pop um, in addition to those stones. Again, beautiful, beautiful finish on this. I mean, everything about it is absolutely stunning. Screw down crown. Uh, oh, let me just, hang on, let me just double check that. Nope, I, I misspoke. Sorry about that. Non-screw down crown. So your water resistance is going to suffer a little bit, but not by much. So let, speaking of water resistance, let's take a look at the specifications here. We'll see what they listed on this here. Uh, Alright, so you have automatic three hands. We have no mention on what kind of movement this is, uh, which again is unfortunate. This might be a seagull, uh, just by looking at the rotor, I just really can't tell. Uh, water resistance is five ATMs, so you check it out, exhibition window. Very cool, you know, and, and don't let, you know, some folks, when they see, you know, and they're looking at the automatic movements, they might say, oh, it's gotta be a Seiko NH35, it's gotta be a Miyota. You know, if this is a Seagull, and I don't know, unfortunately, um, you know, but j based on some of the other watches I have, and from what I can tell, I'm gonna lean towards that it, it may be a Seagull, but again, they're all great nowadays. Remember, there's nothing fancy about a Seiko H35. It's a great movement. It's a movement that's referred to as a workhorse movement, although I hate little catchphrases. That, that is what, it, what, what the watch community calls it. I've never had a problem with any automatic movement, whether it be, again, some of the Seagulls that you'll find the Sterling watches, uh, whatever the case may be, whatever the brand, they all work and they all work well. Uh, can you have good, good, bad luck? Sure, it can happen, but I wouldn't let that dissuade you at all. This is a stunning looking watch. Uh, stainless steel, 20 millimeter solid sta uh, stainless steel uh, bracelet, 5 ATMs of water resistance. They do put the weight, which is really odd that they put the weight of the watch. When what we really want to know is what kind of movement. And that is, uh, that unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, it is a checkbox for many folks. And I completely understand if people don't want to take a chance on buying this, not knowing what the movement is. But I've had great luck with Earnshaw brand. I, I, I love their pieces. Time will tell how long they hold up. But I can I can tell you, <laughs> with even watches I have in my collection that are like $15 watches, uh, no-name brands, you know, they, they still work. So you'd have good and bad luck with anything. Sure, if you have a reputable, well-known brand movement, um, you know, th the odds are better. But remember, these are not NASA space shuttles. I like to joke around about that. But, you know, th this, this is not overly complicated. No pun intended, you know. Modern manufacturing, modern machining, uh, you know, makes these off-branded movements just as good as any other movement, right? Sure, if you want to go on paper and, and have an expert explain these to you, there's a reason why certain Omega movements and Rolex movements are, are superior, right? But at the end of the day, they all tell time. One may be more accurate, one may be regulated, but they still all work. And you're not spending a lot. And that's what, what, that's what I want you guys to remember. You're not spending a lot of money. This is a fantastic value. Um, and that's that's about it. 14 millimeter case thickness, 40 millimeter case diameter. Uh, you know, pretty much a standard size watch. Uh, women can wear it, men can wear it. 
Children can wear it, teens can wear it, if that's your thing. Um, I love this watch. This is definitely one of my, I think, my favorite watch that Earnshaw makes. They have a whole lineup of watches. I wish I could get my hands on all of them. I just can't. There's certain ones that aren't. Uh, that they don't stock in the United States. You could still buy them, but as time change, as time goes on, maybe I'll get my hands on more. But um, as of right now, I got three of these uh, watches in three different color variations. So the next one, if you haven't checked out the Scarlet Red Edition, check that out. That's already live on YouTube. Um, if you want to check out, I thought I ordered the blue, but the blue didn't come in the last shipment. So uh, we'll see if I get my hands on that eventually. But you get the idea. You know, I'll throw the pictures up here. You've probably seen them already, you know, throughout the video. So um, you get an idea what they look like. Click the link in the description. Check out what they got. Um, you know, this is a fantastic company. And I really hope they do more gemstone editions or crystal editions like this. They only have the five. So uh, hopefully they do more with this. Um, I absolutely love the red. It's a great looking piece. I've said for many years, I, 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 I'm waiting for Invicta to start doing something with red uh, because there's not a lot of companies who do. Even the green, it's hard to find stuff like this. So um, it's not for everybody. Not everybody likes the bling bling. Not everybody likes the flashiness, uh, but I do. And this is a, just a fantastic watch for the collection. So without further ado, let's throw it on the wrist. Oh, before we move on, let me show you the box. You guys know I never really get too involved in the box. Basic cardboard Earnshaw box, Thomas Earnshaw logo, a little bit of foam royal blue pillow that's about it on this one here i took out four links to size it to my seven inch wrist um so let's throw it on i have a set again seven inch wrist i weigh about 182 pounds and i'm about five foot eight so this one looks like a guy my size my height and my weight just a killer piece let me just pop off this light real quick here so we try not to get any reflection i don't know if that's help more helpful for you folks look at that oh man I mean, I don't know, guys. To me, it doesn't get much better than that. Got that signed crown. Not a lot of branding on this, you know. I mean, when you have that exhibition uh, case back, you know, you, and especially the skeletonized face, they just it slightly says Earnshaw. It's kind of like I don't know if it's marked on the back of the crystal, but. Very cool. As far as the crystal's concerned, you know, I forgot to mention that it isn't it isn't mentioned. So it's probably some kind of acrylic or uh, some kind of not acrylic but mineral. Uh, you know, that shouldn't dissuade anybody from buying it. Like I said, I, I've never, no matter all my watches, no matter what they're made out of, I've never scratched one. Uh, they're all pretty durable, no matter what you get. So that is it, folks. I want to thank uh, Earnshaw and Dartmouth, of course, for their generosity and collaborating with Fat Cat Collections. It is absolutely awesome to be able to get my hands on all these watches. Every day is like Christmas, folks. So if I can help you guys anyway, as always, drop me a comment, drop me an email. I respond to every comment and every email. So uh, like I said, I understand what it's like to be looking for stuff and want to spend your hard-earned money and not and sometimes not know what to buy, um, I'm at your disposal. Let me know. If you do make a purchase, use my link. That is in the description. As always, folks, have a fantastic day. Happy holidays and take care.